Hello, welcome to our show today. I'm Xue Yan Wen with Xinhua News Agency. Right now, I'm at Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center. As you can see, uh, this giant tower beside me is the launch pad. Uh, today, I'm going to take you to a very exclusive visit to a training section here. It is the training section of Chinese astronauts. They are going to test the emergency evacuation system on the launch pad. This is very crucial to guarantee the safety of the astronauts uh, before the liftoff, um, but it is hoped that this system will never have to be used in real missions. So let's go and take a look inside. Okay, so before we start, here's some background information about Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center. Um, this launch center was founded in 1958. It is China's first space port. The center has been the focus of many of China's ventures into space, including the country's first satellite Dongfang Hongwan in 1970 and the first manned space mission Shenzhou 5 in 2003, as well as all the following uh, manned space missions. And today, their first part of the training section is to get to know all the locations of the, the exits and how to get there as soon as possible in case of fire or other accidents during the liftoff, which is very dangerous because astronauts are actually sitting on the top of tons of explosives. Um, so what they are doing is actually getting them prepared for the worst scenario. And if there's time, um, they can take the explosion-proof elevator in the launch pad. It can take um, about one minute uh, to reach the ground from the 50 meters high. Uh, so uh, maybe you can see outside the launch pad that um, there's a very long tunnel uh, leading from the top to the ground. Um, but the most important part for today's training section is to uh, test the escape chute, uh, which is used to achieve rapid evacuation. And right now, as we can see, this is the uh, this is the exit, um, the the route of escape um, in case of uh, accidents before the liftoff. And this route um, leads to a shelter underground. Um, now we are with the astronauts and they are preparing for the training today. Um, and uh, to begin with, uh, their instructor will have a demonstration first. Um, the instructor will tell them how to use the, the escape chute uh, to evacuate from the top of the launch pad uh, into this place. Yeah, and this is the instructor, he's coming out. Mm, the instructor will uh, jump through this tunnel uh, from a place about 50 meters high and um, he will demonstrate how to uh, get through this tunnel. Um, the escape chute is made of a special fabric material so that the astronauts can have a soft landing. So he has just passed the third floor and he's coming very quickly, but is it a very safe landing? Yes.
So before coming to Jiuquan, astronauts have been practicing on this in Beijing as a part of their regular training. But only in here can they have a real touch of the real stuff. Uh, and the key is to control the speed of sliding in a tunnel, uh, because if it is too fast, uh, they can stretch their arms and legs in the passage to slow down so that they can have a soft landing. But um, if it is it is too slow, uh, then maybe there will there's no enough time for them. <laughs> As we can see, um, the first part in the first part, um, the astronauts will uh, practice without wearing their spacesuits. But um, later, they will try in their spacesuits so that it will make it more real. And actually, you can see that it needs very perfect teamwork between uh, the staff on the ground and also the astronauts so that they can catch you without getting hurt. So for those who are going to jump, uh, just don't worry because there are always people down there holding uh, in the other end of the chute to catch you. Um, it is not as easy as it looks because you have to take proper training to master the correct movement. Otherwise, you may also get hurt during the slide. So here's another astronaut coming. So in the first part of the training, uh, the trainees are um, trying one by one without their spacesuit first. Uh, so they are going to have a short rest. So meanwhile, I can take you to have a closer look at the escape chute. So this is an escape chute. Astronauts can use it to achieve rapid evacuation in case of fire or other accidents before the liftoff. Uh, as you can see, it is made of special uh, fabric materials so that um, the astronauts can have a soft landing. Astronauts can actually jump from the top of the launch pad through this passage, uh, and it takes about 40 seconds to reach the ground. So today's section is a part of the comprehensive training of astronauts for China's space station, which is scheduled to be fully operational around 2022. Um, the missions for the space station will feature long in-orbit stays, uh, regular EVA uh, in-orbit assembling and repair for the, of the station, which means more challenges for the selection and training of astronauts. And currently, um, the astronauts have uh, begun the study of space station technology and other training. Just uh, today's session is one of them. Um, next, they are going to uh, have the second part, uh, which is um, testing the escape system uh, in their spacesuits, which uh, will be more difficult because um, their spacesuit is very heavy and very thick. So it might be a bit hard to get through the tunnel. So let's see how they are going.
Are they coming? Yes, um, an astronaut is coming through. Well, it's quite quick, but it is safe landing. Well done. The escape chute is actually one of um, the many kinds of evacuation system uh, on the launch pad. There are also other types of launch pad escape systems uh, worldwide. Last year, a about 40 meter long zip line was installed in uh, on the launch pad in America. It is quite similar to the slide uh, wire basket NASA once used uh, once used for space shuttle crews. It will allow uh, astronauts to get from the tower from the ground in 90 seconds. But using this one, as we are now seeing, um, it takes about uh, 30 to 40 seconds to reach the ground. And honestly, accidents did happen on launch pads and killed astronauts throughout the history of human space exploration. So it takes tremendous courage to become an astronaut, and hard training is the most important thing to keep you sharp. So um, that's why uh, they are doing the training section today. We can hope for the best, but we, we have to prepare for the worst. And also here is some background information about China's space development. Um, since Yang Liwei first flew into the great beyond, Chinese astronauts have uh, completed six manned space missions um, and conducted over 100 experiments and orbited um, the Earth for a total of 68 days and nights. So currently, astronauts have begun uh, training for uh, China, uh, China's space station, which will be scheduled to become fully operational around 2022. And for those who just join in, we are now watching a, an exclusive uh, training section um, in Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center in northwest China. This is ex exclusive uh, because um, it is for the first time that media um, is allowed to cover. And Xinhua is the only media um, invited into this place to have a visit. And now we are waiting for more astronauts to try the system. It is actually quite exhausting uh, wearing the space suit to test the system. So um, if you like this show, you can just share it with your friends. It seems another astronaut is coming through.
this one is quite slow. Another perfect landing. Quite a good job. So China has launched the selection process for new astronauts for its future space station missions. So maybe, um, maybe one of you can actually join China's space development. And then another, another one is coming through. So now I'm very glad to have Chen Dong with us to have a very short interview. This is Mr. Chen Dong. He is one of the two astronauts in the Shenzhou 11 manned space mission. Um, so now I'm going to ask him how he feel about the training section today. So this, uh, this training section is going to provide them uh, how, uh, information how they are going to escape in case of emergency before the liftoff. Uh, he said that uh, there were many ways to keep them safe, like uh, the escape chute and also uh, the explosion proof elevator and also shelters. They can take uh, various means to keep them safe. 呃，这也充分表明了我们载人航天是呃以人为本，是把人的安全始终是保保持在保证在第一位的。All this means uh fully demonstrate that um their safety uh will be put in the first place during the missions. 呃，那您再您再谈一下，就是呃这次训练您觉得最难的地方是什么？So what's the most difficult part during this training section? 呃。我感觉这个训练最难的就是控制在我们逃逸滑道中下降的速度。So the most, diffi most difficult part uh, during this training section is how to control the speed of falling. 如果你滑得过慢,那就是失去了紧急撤离的意义。如果你滑得太快,在 即将着陆的时候是有一定危险性的。So he said that if uh, you... Uh, if the speed is too fast, it would be a bit dangerous uh, because it will be a harder landing. But if you are too slow, it, um, there will be not enough time for them to escape. So, I think, uh, so the, that's why the most difficult thing is the uh, speed control. Yeah. Uh, 主要是为了这个保证升空的安全。那您再回忆一下，就是呃，当时您在神十一任务升空的当时那个瞬间是什么感觉？So uh, I'm going to ask him how he feel about um how he feel about the liftoff uh during his uh Shenzhou 11 mission. 呃，我神舟十一号升空的时候是首先是非常安全的。然后我也感觉到非常的骄傲和自豪，能够去呃实现自己的梦想，能够代表祖国出征太空。He uh, said that uh, the first thing is that he feel, he felt very safe during the liftoff, uh, and also he felt uh, very exciting and very proud to realize his own dream and also to represent his own country to explore the space to explore space. Um, 谢谢您，非常感谢。Thank Thank you very much. So much for our show today. Uh, Thank you for watching. If you like it, please share it with your friends and also stay with us. We are going to have more exclusive reports in the future. See you next time. Bye-bye.